Hello Linux fans, Rob here and today I want to cover my top five reasons for choosing KDE Neon as my daily driver, my go-to device, my go-to machine I will say. Um, before I get into this, there are, and most of you know, I'm a habitual distro hopper. It's a hobby. Uh, you know, some people are into boats. What can I say? I enjoy it. Um, and I enjoy making the videos. Um, recently I've tried, you know, just really some high quality distributions and I've got reviews on several of those. So I want to give honorable mention in no certain order uh, to those distributions and it was a hard decision as to what I'm going to run here for a period of time which I will not disclose because in three weeks I could be talking about my new distribution of choice. Uh, anyway, uh, I've got test machines I will continue to uh, review distributions as they're released and we've got a lot on the horizon but honorable mention goes out to Ubuntu Mate. What can I say? It's a very um, compelling, easy to use uh, distribution that's great for a first-time Linux user and then next on the list was one that I've recently reviewed which I was just really blown away by the ingenuity and I've seen some things in that distribution you don't see in other distributions and that is Peppermint OS 7 so uh, you can check out my review there I was really torn on whether to make that my daily driver and then last but certainly not least is Manjaro XFCE and I know they recently released a new version uh, you know the Arch community the Arch backing there is strong the Manjaro community is extremely strong they've got a lot of positive things happening there and so that was a hard decision uh, but with that all said it is going to be for a period of time again undisclosed period of time uh, KD Neon and today uh, they are at version 5.7.4 so that'll be my daily driver and I want to just cover those top five reasons why so we'll get into that now. We'll move this over to the center here. So number one and again these are in no uh, certain order. The Dolphin File Manager. What can I say? I believe that it is heads and tails above any other file manager including OS's outside of Linux. So if you are going to try the KDE Plasma 5 environment for the first time, spend some time with Dolphin File Manager, explore those settings. Uh, just, I think you'll see that it's heads and tails above every other file manager. Number two, customizations, themes, fonts, um, you know, your, your entire desktop environment can be tweaked out through KDE Neon. I think you can tweak it out more, more than any other Linux distribution or desktop environment available today. Let me put it that way. Um, I want to make mention too about the font rendering. The uh, We'll go down to settings here. The font rendering out of the gate, out of the box with KDE Neon is better than any other distribution I've tried. Ubuntu comes in a close second. Uh, I have installed the MS Core fonts and the only thing that I've changed is I changed the fonts to Arial. But out of the gate, bar none, uh, I believe it's it's better than any other uh, distribution, even in the browser. So if we just go to um, DistroWatch here, And just look at that. Everything looks crisp. It looks as as it should. So for me, that's a biggie. All right, we'll move on from here. Number three, solid Ubuntu base. You've got lots of support. You can get just about any app. And for me, Ubuntu base distributions are stable. Sure, they all have issues. All distributions have their issues. But for me, it's stable. You look at the community, you look at the support, you just look at what um, is going on with Ubuntu as a whole. And, um, you know, it's going to be around a long time. It's going to be supported a long time. So number three is a big reason why. Number four, speed and use. You probably are surprised to hear me say that, but I think if you'll take the time to uh, try out a... Uh, 
and it doesn't have to be KDE Neon, but try out a distribution with the latest version, which is 5.7.4 of Plasma 5, and I think you'll be surprised at the speed. Now, I'm recording here. We're going to go down to uh, System and just look at System Load right now. I'm recording video, so uh, let's take that into account. CPU 1 bouncing between 20 and 30. CPU 2, 18 to 24, 15, 16 for 3, and around 30 for CPU 4 while I'm recording. But let's go down here and look. I'm using 1.4 gig right now out of 8 gig. I am telling you when this system's idle and it's setting here, it uses around 550 uh, megabytes of memory and the CPU load is floating somewhere around 8 to 10. And then uh, that's on CPU 1 and then it goes down from there so this is a light system it's surprisingly light and fast and all I'll say is try it for yourself for me it works um, alright we'll move on so number five number five is a biggie for me this is an extremely light distribution as far as apps pre-installed um, education was not there if you go to Office, so Libre Math was not there because Libre Office is not installed. Under Office, you only had, um, wow, I don't believe there was anything under Office because I installed Kmail and Libre Office and, or KDE PIM and Libre Office, so there was nothing under Office. If you go to Multimedia, the only thing that was installed was VLC Media Player. And under Internet, the only thing installed was Firefox. And graphics, the only thing installed was Gwynview. And from there, you build out. And for me, that's a biggie. Um, you know, I, I am going to focus on applications that run well in the KDE environment. So, um, you know, for me, I like the ability to go in and, and build up an OS, um, you know, as I see fit and not have to go in and uninstall applications. So for me, that's a biggie. Now I could add a six and a seven, and there's lots of things we can discuss. Actually, my first two videos were based on KDE Neon, so if you want to see more details, uh, just watch those videos, and I get into a lot of details about the Plasma 5 environment as a whole. And uh, you know, and if you've got questions, feel free to uh, to reach out to me. Uh, I do want to mention also that KDE. Pl KDE Neon is not without issues. Now I've had no major failures, very few hiccups, but certain apps will not look good in the Plasma 5 environment, I'll put it that way. And then I've had apps like WP Office, which I'm uh, excited about and was, and I've got a couple of videos on that, but I had that loaded on Ubuntu Mate and it was running flawless. Even though it's an alpha stage, it was running great. I've installed it before on um, um, KDE Neon, and it's just, it's a mess. Uh, crashes, uh, doesn't launch into the um, theme templates as it should. It's just, anytime you try to do something that's um, beyond just typing text, it crashes. So, you know, it's it, KDE 5 is not without issues. I'm not saying it's the ultimate OS. I'm just saying for now, for a period of time, this is for me and wanted to share the reasons why in case there's someone out there that's, you know, interested in in what's going on with uh, Plasma and with the KDE desktop. This is kind of what I bowled it down to and based my decision on. So, uh, and I will say, if you are looking to really try out the KDE 5 Plasma World, um, this is the distribution I would go with because of number four, or excuse me, because of number three, it's built off of the Ubuntu base. So uh, there's solid support there and ease of uh, obtaining what applications you want to obtain. I am going to do a review and I'm going to put on one of my test machines, KAOS. I have had a few uh, request on KAOS and I intend to fully check that out and spend some time with that. So hope this helps and uh, that's it for now and we will check you later.